Meteorologist Rob Ellis here with a real time update on our weather, Rob. Yeah, I got to show you this live video because take a look and I'm going to step out of the way, but look at the waves coming off of the lake and look at how much slosh we have on the lake. The waves overtopping the uh, lakefront here. This has the, been the big concern because of that wind that the waves would continue to build as much as 9 to 12 foot waves and they're still pretty gusty right now. These are the sustained winds. We still have some gusts as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour. They are calming down. Some gusts did top 50 miles per hour today. The good news is we're on the back side of this. We're clearing this out. We're clearing out the clouds. Did want to mention we have the wind advisory until 7 p.m. So we've got less than two hours or so and we still have the lakeshore flood warning that's going to be in place until tomorrow at 11 a.m. But things are going to begin to calm down. Once the wind drops, it takes some time for those waves to also calm down. And like I said, it'll take it through most of tomorrow before that happens, but definitely improving and improving just in time for the weekend. Tomorrow's planner, we end the week with a lot of sunshine, still a bit cooler than average. The northeast winds, the culprit there. The sunshine, though, is going to get stronger and stronger as time goes on, as we get closer and closer to spring. I'll show you satellite and radar tracker. Here's tomorrow about midday. Here's the next day, Saturday, about midday. I'll stop it. You don't see anything moving because it's nothing but blue sky. We'll do the same thing as we head into Sunday. A few clouds start to move in, but this is going to set us up for a lot of sunshine for this weekend, and that's going to have an impact on the temperatures. 55 for tomorrow, excuse me, for Saturday, 61 for Sunday. I do think we're going to see the 60s stay with us for several more days, even into next week, but we lose some of the sunshine as some rain starts to move back into our forecast. So we'll add rain and by Tuesday. We'll carry that over into Wednesday, but these temperatures are feeling a lot more like spring. And boy, if you can get out and enjoy this weekend because it is going to be spectacular. The we like to hear the shades, Brad. You got your shades ready? <laughs>